Hello all, welcome and welcome back to Illuminate the Oracle. This is going to be a collective soul reading, so no love reading, this slow soul reading. To see what we can do to uh, get y'all souls glowing even more, darling, alright? Um, I do got a message in my heart. <laughs> and so uh, we'll dive into that a little bit, real quick, okay? Let's do this prayer. Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive this message today. We only seek messages of your highest vibration, messages that you deem for us to receive. Any ill will or evil energy just sent our way, kindly block or turn energy back to where it came from. Bind up tight in their own delights to never harm anyone again. Amen. I see, I see, okay. Okay. What is this reading about today? This reading is about. Proof is in the pudding. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. Uh, you know, Spirit always told us that this day would happen where it's almost like this a little bit of a divide, but it's not quite the people it's not quite in the way people anticipated it to be. And I'm not talking about anything as earthly. <laughs> As earthly as like like politics and things like that, no, nothing too earth based here. We talk about the energy here because that's something that you can't dismiss, you can't ignore. It is what it is, and a lot of times um, the things that we see on the earth plane play out, oftentimes are symbols of things that are playing out much larger, and much broader, and much more like uh, broad in, in in a more broad stroke term. Okay. So, I say that to say that, like, it, uh, um, some people are in despair and turmoil about days to come. Um, some people are optimistic and joyful about days to come, right? And it really is a semblance of a spiritual dynamic and how much work people have really been doing on themselves spiritually because there really shouldn't be in a sense of doom or despair if people are truly if people have been truly doing the work on themselves spiritually because if people have been truly doing the work on themselves spiritually then they would not expect you first of all they wouldn't lie to your face and try to try to make you believe that they've also done the same work on themselves because once again the proof is in the pudding okay the thing is, is that people will expect you, people will say that they've evolved to, and that they've done the work on themselves too, and they are just like you. They'll try to convince you of that, but then expect you to still participate and partake in the same behavior of yesteryear, of yesterday, okay? And they'll, they'll say, we're changed and we're different, but at the same time, they'll expect you to fall in line with something that's old or something that's beat to death right so it's like it, the proof is in the pudding okay you can say people can say what they want to say all day but we can't escape energy it's like people people are in tune but it can freak people out as to what they think people are in tune with <laughs> but people are in tune with themselves okay and it's okay if as a human race if we're kind of more so into ourselves or more so like into the individual at this point in time it doesn't mean it's always gonna be like that forever and always but it may be something that's necessary right here right today because as we're realizing a lot of us have spent so much time maybe being overly invested in groups people places and things that maybe weren't always for our greatest good anyways okay sometimes we were just so accustomed to just falling in line with things that were never really truly resonating with us to begin with and so maybe that's what's happening right people are just are finding their ways in the ways that they do but you have to be careful with people that want you to go their way okay Fleetwood Mac you can go your own way go your own way wait hold on because 
I don't even. I don't even. This is, it's a Fleetwood Mac song, but I don't know if it's the same Fleetwood Mac song. But there's like a, a lyric, and that's a, a, song, a Fleetwood Mac song where it's like um, someone saying, um, "I can still hear you saying, we can never break the chain. You do not love you now. You you'll never love me again. I can still hear you saying, we can never break the chain." I don't know if that's the same Fleetwood Mac song, but it's that same idea of like these people crabs in a barrel, crabs in a barrel. These people can try to convince you like um, to go that way or to do to do it your way ain't the way, and to do it your way will cause chaos and it's just fear. It's just like it doesn't. It doesn't matter where you turn to. It doesn't matter who is the recipient, or not the recipient, who's the, the sender. Return to sender. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Return to sender. <laughs> Elvis Presley, that's an Elvis Presley song. Return to sender. It's, you know, returning back to where it came from, okay? It's almost like people want to fill you up with their despair. People want to fill you up with their fear. Because we have to remember the basics here. Misery loves company. So if people are sitting in misery by themselves, that won't do. So they have to spread it to you if you allow them to. I say that the the, the, the way that people can get to you, the the more I guess the most successful way that some that people can get to you is through the mental, through your mind. It's gonna be harder to, for people to really get to you, um, to your physical. They need permission for that. Um, they can't reach your spiritual, okay? They can't reach your soul, okay? And so how can they get to you? How can they make how can they make you feel it? To get to your mind, to condition you into believing that things are just the way they are, you can't change them, okay? But there's a lot of people that also believe that, you know, something has to change in order for it to be, you know? And so there is, that's why I say, you know, I think, look, let's look, what is reading about? Let's jump in, let's jump in. All the spiritual work up until this time was supposed to be. And if you're just starting this, or if you're still on the train, or if you hopped off the train, jump back on it, darling. But the whole point of the spiritual awakening is to be, to follow your own path, right? To follow your own sense of sacredness. So that can, you know... That involves being triggered, that involves being alone, that involves isolation, that involves disconnecting, that involves cutting cutting streams with people, um, and just allowing, just being in this energy of allowance and acceptance of just things are as they are, allowing people to be where they are. There is no trying to condition someone to see things the way you see them. That's so a facet of the past. It doesn't matter if you red, blue, gold, yellow. It doesn't matter if people if people's way to convince you of something is shame and fear it will never work because we're God's children okay <laughs> and God don't ever want us to feel fear because we're God's children and God's uh, galaxy and earth plane darling <laughs> and so that's the devil's workshop is fear and shame and pulling you down, right? Those energies pull you down like a rock. Oh, like a rock. So what is the collective to know? Okay, what is the advice for the collective considering all this? Like what what should be the collective's focus in this in this crazy time, darling? And these, as Prince would say it, rest in paradise, uh, the sign of the times, okay? Look at there, we got A fairy note and a mermaid note. So earth and water here. What we got here? Healing and wish wisely. And miracles. This is exactly what I was saying. There's a healing happening here. But it's probably not going to be in the news. They probably don't want you to know about that. Because in the news or the mainstream or social media. They want to 
um, constantly highlight all the divides and all the friction and chaos because that does something to your vibration. It does something even to your own health. If you believe in fear, like fear kills. We know this to be true. We know that in the anxiety, you can't just be an anxious person forever. That eats away at you. And so that also puts you at health risk. Um, but a lot of things in our society purposely, like, you know, wants to break down your health, right? Uh, rather, it's feeding you fear or feeding you shame, feeding you um, friction, right? Um, it's funny. I was... Um, watching a commercial and I don't watch commercials and so I must have been watching that commercial on YouTube um, it was like a sub commercial and I used to love me some subs darling and I still kind of love a sub here and there darling but I my diet has changed so drastically because I've had extreme um, some, some health situations at the beginning of the year so I had to change my whole world around and happily to do so because I was on the brink of death and I wasn't gonna let <laughs> the way that I was emotionally eating dictate my life because it was just emotional. It was just emotional. Um, and so, yeah, I don't, <laughs> there's a lot of things I just don't do anymore. Um, but I'm, there's this commercial, this doctor that I was writing, it was supposed to be funny, you know, it was a sub commercial with Danny DeVito and it's like a Jersey subs and, you know, and uh, they had the doctor writing up the script and the script was, uh, that patient needs to, an Italian sub, right? That patient an Italian sub, okay, that's gonna cure their ails, you know? And that would be a funny joke <laughs> if that wasn't kind of like the industry, you know, that we're in, um, where, where I'm in America, where it's like it's not really a, a health industry to put you in your greatest of health, is to kind of keep you in a cycle where you'll, where you'll always need to depend on the industry depend on um the system right and if you can always depend on the system then ha yeah yay you know it's almost like when it came to the system the better i got the more well i became <laughs> it almost felt like the more useless i became to the system because i was just like hmm so you're like getting like miraculously better hmm okay yeah, and that's fantastic, right? That should be a beautiful thing. But there was this, like, underbelly of feeling there that wasn't said. It was just kind of felt like, this is beautiful. This is miraculous. This is a, this is unseen, this type of healing, okay? But we don't need you here. <laughs> and luckily, I don't want to be here, right? I don't want to be in this hospital anymore. This, this is great, okay? But there's something here about, like, this healing is not just the kind of healing that you go to that people say, that's where you go to heal, darling. No, this healing, this is a this is someone's spiritual team, okay? So it's like a period of isolation, a period of being in darkness, a period of following one's own barometer and, and, and ways of going about it leads someone to not just any group or not just any healing, but their healing, their people. This is someone's soul tribe because they wish specifically for something that feels like family, something that feels like love, not something that someone told you it was, but something where it feels what it is. It's not, it's not like, okay, this is freedom, but you have to do something that feels like not freedom in order to get freedom. But people know, people understand the tricks of the trade now, and they charge a lot to the game already. So people are not gonna continue. People are not gonna continue practicing old behaviors if that already led them to doom and it's already been tried and true, right? We can't ignore the things that are been tried and true because that's where we gain our wisdom. Okay, there's something that um y'all wished for. Okay. The spirit is saying, keep your eyes on the prize here. It's all in purple. It's in the dark. Y'all could have wished for this in the dark. Y'all could have wished for this in your own self, okay? Whatever this is, it's coming your way, and it fits. It's a glove that fits.
fits because it's not something that you willed to be. It's something, what are these people looking at? They're looking up at the sky. Keep your head to the sky. One of my favorite songs. Um, keep your head to the sky. Is that Earth, Wind, and Fire? Um, keep your head to the sky. So these are people that are, these people aren't, um, this is, this is a connection that was guided, okay? These people were guided to each other, okay? Maybe under some sort of like-minded ideals or like-minded, um, like morals or ways of thinking about things. Y'all could have wished for this, um, wished for people and connections that truly feed your heart and soul because y'all realize that that's what y'all deserve y'all in in your own skin a miracle okay and so these things have to reflect it back to you and what is that miracle um miracle my favorite singers, uh, Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey, they came up, they had a song, When You Believe. There can be miracles when you believe. Um, though hope is frail, it's hard to kill. Though hope is frail, it's hard to kill. Inner knowing is all you can trust at this point in time, darling. That should be driving you. Turn away from everything or anything that's not speaking to your inner knowing already, darling. I feel like inner knowing. There are some things that y'all already know. So don't let anybody try to pretend or dress it up for you like it's something other than what it is, okay? Um, let's get a quick clarifier. Uh, let's see here with angel numbers here. Clarify this healing card for the collective real quick. So we're collecting to know what's this angel numbers here about this healing. Healing. All right. We have belief system. So healing old age belief systems that can no longer, they can't go. You know, wisdom is deciphering, okay? What needs to stay? What's been tried and true? What works? That can stay. What's been tried and true? What doesn't work? That has to go. Belief systems, okay? Go after what you want because it says unique destiny, inspiration, talents, gifts. So proof is in the pudding. Go after what you want, darling. This is about your belief systems. Zero, one, one, and zero. You have to be seeing that at this point in time. Um, 11, that signifies... Um, larger networks and this is clarifying healing i feel like y'all being intro uh, intro uh, if you allow yourself the uh, being alone in a period of isolation you're going to be drawn to your 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 team that speaks to you and i feel like this is going to be a dream come true where you are going you'll be able to go after what you want something that's involving your unique skills and abilities okay and so, yeah, it's not going to be for everybody. If something is evolving your unique skills and abilities, then, you know, maybe this crab in a barrel is trying to convince you, oh, no, that's scary. Don't do that. Because they're trying to keep you in a barrel. And this says crabs in a barrel, mind. So it's a mindset. 2020, compassion, mercy, diplomacy. Okay, this says potential, service, recovery, adaptability. So you've you've given people enough mercy, Spirit says. You've given people enough compassion here. Um, but now it's, you've been very diplomatic too. Now it's time for you to pursue what's made for you. This card says it's, it's a confirmation that your assumptions and beliefs are correct. But it's also encouragement to use your talents and gifts because they will benefit the world and your pockets. Okay, so you're going to know what this is for you. Okay, let's clarify that real quick. Okay, that's where we'll end it. All right. Starting over. Some of y'all can already feel there's an inner knowing that y'all are starting over. Okay. Um, yeah, look at that. There's like two different tens here. 
And there's like a significance on zeros and ones. There's a lot of zeros and ones. So y'all are really at a, a whole new beginning of a whole new world. Um, and y'all are at, that could be a little bit of a nervousness, okay? Feeling like y'all are at the beginning of something or brand new to something. Y'all could be entering into something that is brand new. Spirit is saying, follow your intuition. It, something can seem brand new to you, but it could be something that has always been, could have always been a wish for you or a spiritual calling for you to do. So Spirit is saying, go ahead and take the chance, okay? Because there is success. All these zeros signifies that y'all are at like completely like, <laughs> like factory setting mode. I feel like y'all have been like re calibrated. <laughs> Like, I don't know. There's something about this healing that y'all have done. That got y'all shining bright out here. So, you know, shining bright and fun. <laughs> so, you know, I feel like y'all have an inner knowing about the things at this point in time that y'all need to turn away from. Things that can go, things that can stay. And that is what it is, okay? Nothing personal. It's vibrational. I love y'all. Take care of yourself until next time. Mwah! Peace out.